Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of uh, Vemo Live. This is a show on YouTube but it's also a podcast and if you are listening to this on an audio app you're probably doing so on Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, gana.com, jio seven etc. If you are doing that please tell a friend of yours about it. It is uh, common knowledge that podcasts are discovered through word of mouth more than any other thing. I mean seriously when was the last time you found a podcast on social media? you usually pick up podcasts by listening to other podcasts so if you want other people to listen to this podcast share it with them personally email it to them share it on your social media tagging them etc etc and uh, if you're watching this on youtube then you are doing so on the youtube channel which is uh, youtube.com/vimolive and uh, this is a channel that comes that goes live comes live goes live what is the difference i come live on this youtube channel every day at 10 pm and by every day i mean monday to friday today is uh, wednesday the 6th of july 2022 and you are most welcome to this episode today's topic is uh, cancel culture and i wrote a caption to this video in a somewhat sarcastic manner but i think it still did not get to many people because cancel culture does not exist but hold on we will talk more about that before that let me take a look at some of the comments so far <clears throat> uh there are uh, comments 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 yes let me look at the more contemporary comments from someone who did actually get what i wanted to say hmm nope it seems that many people did not get the point i wanted to make so let me just clarify before i start cancel culture is not really a thing it does not exist cancel culture is what privileged people say when people who they are attacking talk back criticism can take many forms sometimes criticism comes from those who are more powerful than you and in that case it genuinely hurts your life because imagine if a minister started giving speeches about you and about how you should be thrown out of the country that is never described as cancel laying someone that is actual oppression those who are less powerful cannot oppress you they don't have the power all they can is speak up but people who are privileged for example a certain comedian who made a sexist joke yesterday which was still perhaps forgivable but then he doubled down on it and started making ridiculous uh, jokes about the people who were kind of uh, reaching back very politely so that ridiculousness aside i don't want to name the boy because you know the world is full of assholes and uh, today you make it about that boy tomorrow some other boy comes up this is common among upper caste hindu indians and other people also but primarily them because it tends to be about them most of the time they are the ones who think that they are under attack from people less powerful than you so they think that feminists are destroying men or that dalits are destroying uh, their lives by availing of a reservation which they were promised in the constitution of india so canceling is usually when people say oh my god i expressed a bigoted opinion i expressed a toxic opinion and now people are coming after me so i am being canceled the truth of the matter is it doesn't really mean anything nobody gets canceled tell me the like if a very well known artist gets canceled what happens to them do they never get work for the rest of their life or do people say that they will you know never watch something by them we have plenty of toxic people who are you know mainstream artists in india who express toxic views on social media all day long and the most that happens to them is that some people are angry about it that's not canceling that's nothing it doesn't happen there are people who have been accused of very serious crimes but they get back to their jobs in a couple of months canceling is not really thing cancel culture I don't know maybe gatekeeping is a better word for when people within the community ask people to get out of it because uh, there is a difference of approach or a difference of something else but cancel culture is not a thing and privileged people whining about other people having a voice is like it rit- literally does nothing to them so it's mostly just whining eh mere piche itne log pad gaye that's all so having cleared that up let me now get back to the comments and i will not be addressing the comments which are which did not get my point previously because all that i've said so far was in the response to that uh <clears throat> dipankar says uh, i think samay will not get cancelled as he's a boy nothing sexist if 
female comedians easily get cancelled that female stand up comedian who made a joke on shivaji that was not even offending again cancellation is when someone less powerful than you talks uh, about boycotting you you don't actually get boycotted all that happens in the name of cancel culture is that some people express their views about them not liking your work nobody actually gets cancelled if someone is deep platform as a result of outrage against their opinions on social media that happens a lot that's still not that's still not oppression that's just you know you said something bad people did not like hearing it and therefore they are not they are now they have now decided to not hear you or to not let you have a platform in a space that they have control over if you disagree with someone you will not let them come to your house it's just, it's exactly like that oppression vi- uh, violation of free speech can only happen when a government decides to come after you people disagreeing with you on social media is nothing it's not cancellation um zia is here zia says happy wednesday bamu and everyone else hope you're all doing well sarvesh says hi unknown says hi Jack says, uh, we have, "Hi, Vimo. I started a YouTube channel and made one video on philosophy a few months ago. The problem is I'm not able to make more videos because I'm not able to find intimidating content. What does intimidating content mean? I mean, content block is a normal thing. It happens to nine out of ten people. You have to look at things. You have to get inspired. You have to make a list of ideas, and then you can start making videos about that. It happens. You have to get past it." Jack says uh content on philosophy what to do i want to make video on philosophy psychology and literature and how to find int- int- what well, i'm not, i'm pretty sure using the word intimidating wrong here i don't know what you mean by intimidating content but uh, if you want to you can probably read books on these subjects and they will give you plenty of ideas and by the way reading books is also something that uh, gives your channel more credibility because people look at your videos and they say oh ye books padh ke pata raha matlab कुछ तो होगा अपने मन से नहीं बना के चीजें बेच रहा है बैटमैन बेगन सेज हे लुकिंग कूल बैन द स्टूपेड फेलो जस्ट रेड योर वन डे अगो पोस्ट ऑन यूट्यूब आर टैम सेज हेलो मेसी सेज हेलो पूर्वेश सेज हाय Hi Purvesh and thank you for being a member by the way there is a join button under this video you can become a member of this channel to support this show and uh, i will be grateful my my life is basically supported on sponsored by members of this channel mood kya hai says yaar itna sochne ke baad miss marvel start kiya socha desi flavor hai try karte hain lekin marvel phir bayokuf bana diya koi dekh raha hai miss marvel kya ha dekh raha hu acha to lag raha hai kya problem hai tumko miss marvel se i mean it is made for an uh, uh, you know an american desi audience but you can i can still appreciate it music from the place says hello vimo hello people hello people hello people uh kavan says cancel culture is more like a suspension for bad behavior than what suspension there is no suspension who gets suspended give me one name of a person who lost everything as a result of being cancelled on social media all that happens is some people express their displeasure some people call for a boycott maybe there is a boycott but it never lasts forever मी टू के दौरान कितने लोग कैंसिल हुए थे उनमें से कई तो अब वापस टीवी चैनल्स पे जा चुके हैं मेनी आर बैक इन देयर ओल्ड ऑफिस मेनी आर बैक डूइंग एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग्स दैट दे वर डूइंग प्रीवियसली कैंसिलेशन इज एन इल्यूजन नो बडी गेट्स कैंसल्ड खाली हवा मचा दिया जाता है कैंसिल कल्चर कैंसिल कल्चर और ये कल वाला छोकरा तो ये भी बोल रहा था कि मुझे लेफ्ट ने कैंसिल किया है प्रिटी श्योर इफ यू आस्क एम वॉट द लेफ्ट मीन्स ही वुड नॉट नो प्रिटी श्योर Battler says cancel culture may not exist in India, but what about abroad? Epstein and Kevin Spacey have lost their reputation and opportunities. Yeah, they deserved it. They were criminals. They were rapists. For God's sake, they were rapists. Their sexual assault history came to light, and they lost their career opportunities. They didn't get cancelled for expressing an opinion on social media. They committed crimes. That's not cancellation. That's punishment. Miles Davis says beer by sir Ranveer is a millionaire and spiritual at the same time. Eh. We are not talking about spirituality today. Senior says Kali Mata ke naam pe kya drama chal raha hai? Kisi ko kuch pata hai kya? Apparently there was this painting by an artist who showed goddess Kali smoking a cigarette and then Mahua Moitra the uh, a TMC member said that she does not find it offensive. I personally also don't find it offensive. And I think the kind of Hindu who thinks that Kali smoking a cigarette is offensive 
is the reason hinduism will get wiped out people are uncomfortable with the realities of their own religion and they are trying to whitewash it literally whitewashing applies in this case because we are talking about kali the goddess is supposed to be an expression of certain darknesses to to get offended at that means that you are not comfortable with kali herself and that is your problem because kali doesn't give a fuck मूड सेज मूड क्या सेज विमो आपका एक पोस्ट देखे जहां आप रैंट कर रहे हो कल तो हम नहीं आ पाए थे वो किसी के वो किसके बारे में था कुछ कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल बोलो प्लीज हैं आई हैव नो आइडिया व्हाट यू टॉकिंग अबाउट मैन यू सॉ अ वीडियो एंड यू वांट मी टू से समथिंग कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल आई डोंट नो बैटलर सेज देर इज इवन वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ मांगा राइटर ऑफ अ सीरीज कॉल्ड एक्ट एज हु हैड हिज ओन सीरीज पुल्ड फ्रॉम ऑल प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड कैंसल्ड when he admitted to harassing teenage girls yeah again he committed an actual crime and he was punished for it the cancel culture that i'm talking about people say that people reacting to them on social media is canceling them no it is not people are disagreeing with something you said and they're calling for your boycott you have if you have committed a crime like you know sexual assault then what happens to you is punishment it's not canceling evening vimo has hi dhiro bhai thank you for being a member uh prutha says kangana and cancel culture go hand in hand avara bella says uh, vimo blasphemy again pe ek comment kiya tha ek bar dekh lo bhai okay dekh lunga bhai maine comments mein itna deep ja ke dekha nahi main normally pichle 24 ghante ke comments dekhta hu kiran says justice should not appear like revenge on mistakes that happened in the past either it is brahmin or white who whoever may be the target justice should not appear like revenge on mistakes that happened in the past but we only can react to things happened in the past like what are we talking about are you talking about a crime should not should not be punished if it is 1 year old or 2 years old or 30 years old or 40 years old like what is the threshold here if someone committed a crime and got away with it when we find out that they do commit that they did commit a crime then the you know the law states that if someone escapes the is there a thing like someone escapes the law for 20 years then ah chhut gaya 20 saal bit gaya aap kuch nahi kar sakte that does that's not how it works uh confused i think you may be talking about mistakes and in that case yeah i suppose it depends on the intensity of the mistake and the nature of the mistake uh if it's a crime it doesn't matter it should be punished whenever it is discussed mood kya says latest episode episode 5 dekha gaya हाँ देखा ना आई लव इट आई डोंट नो वाई डोंट डेंट लाइक इट आई क्वाइट लाइक इट इट इंटीग्रेटेड अ लॉट ऑफ पास्ट थीम्स इन टू अस ऑफ लॉट ऑफ प्रेजेंट थीम्स लाइक द लाइक द मुस्लिम कैरेक्टर हु सेज पीपल आर नॉट बाइंग फ्लावर्स फॉर हेम फ्रॉम हेम एंड वी सी दैट हैपनिंग टूडे देर आर हिंदुत्ववादी टर्ड्स हु कीप कॉलिंग फॉर इकोनॉमिक बॉयकॉट ऑफ मुस्लिम्स एंड देन देर वॉज द स्लोगन इन द बिगिनिंग वेन द कैरेक्टर इज स्पीकिंग अबाउट द ब्रिटिश एंड ही सेज हम लेके रहेंगे आजादी दैट स्लोगन इज नॉट फ्रॉम प्री इंडिपेंडेंस एरा दैट दैट्स लाइक रीसेंट दैट्स अ जेएनयू स्लोगन दैट्स कन्हैया कुमार थिंग सो देयर वर अ लॉट ऑफ थीम्स फ्रॉम कंटेम्पररी इंडिया पैरेलल रन पैरेलल टू दिस आईडिया द आईडिया ऑफ माइनॉरिटी परसिक्यूशन द आईडिया ऑफ रिलीजियस बिगटरी द आईडिया ऑफ सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स आई लाइक ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ माय हेड आई कांट कम अप विद मेनी बट सो मेनी थिंग्स मुकेश सेज आई लाइक मिस मावल मैसी से सर महुआ मित्रा कुछ कॉमेंट्स किया है डिटेल्स पता नहीं महुआ मित्रा ओनली सेड दैट फॉर हर काली लाइक आई डोंट रिमेम्बर द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स बट शी वॉज नॉट ऑफेंडेड बाई द पेंटिंग ऑफ काली स्मोकिंग एंड आई एम विथ हर इवन आई एम नॉट ऑफेंडेड जो लोग ऑफेंडेड है उनको आई डोंट नो मे बी देर डोंट लाइक बींग हिंदू और समथिंग Purvesh says Miss Marvel is empowering for women and especially Muslim people as a world as, as world have negative perspective about them that's true it's a representation done right Charvak says I hate Twitter particularly because of these boycott trends again Charvak go back to the beginning of this episode and see what I have said about boycotting and cancellation music from the play says the people who got actually cancelled in me too were mostly the poor women who were the victims many of them struggled to find works in the respective industries yeah even today many of the women who came forward and spoke against people who had sexually assaulted them are unable to find work even today so i don't want to hear crap about how a man got cancelled because somebody pointed out that he is a rapist i don't want to hear about it kavan says by suspension i meant like the suspension we get in 
in school for like one month or something and then we resume class yeah kind of like that yeah and prim monkey says uh, funny how no working class people ever get cancelled cancel culture for bourgeoisie is like an itch that can that uh, they can scratch off really yeah it's like a death penalty the reason i am not in favor of death penalty is twofold one it cannot be taken back and b it's always a function of prosperity right have you ever seen a multi millionaire getting a death sentence in india i have not it's usually reserved for people who cannot afford to get out of it so death penalty is essentially a function of capitalism if you have money you won't die if you don't have money you will die and that applies to prison also by the way but i'm only saying that you can at least come out of prison with death penalty there is nothing there is no going back uh <clears throat> battler says this kali movie is this a movie being released in india or only in canada i can't think someone foolish enough to release that visual publicly i don't know i have no idea i only saw the pe- i didn't even know there was a picture there was a movie i only saw the poster purvesh says i'm saying muslim women yeah we got that mm. okay uh Arun says, "Do you think that laws relating to gender pronouns are examples of forced speech, as the right as the right tends to imply?" Well, I don't know if there is punishment uh, written in the law for people who don't use certain pronouns, but I suppose you can compare it to using casteist slurs in India. You are used to you ca- calling people by gender normative that those two binary things. You can call people a man or a woman, a he or a she. but if someone clarifies that they do not wish to be called he or she but they want to be called they or them and you still continue doing it then you are essentially uh, using something like a slur against them because that identity is exactly what they have been trying to escape their whole life so they have the right to be who they are and if you if you know that if you acknowledge that they are someone who wants to be addressed with a pronoun that is not he or she and you still insist on doing it then i i don't know if there is a punishment written in for it but forcing how is it forcing if there is no punishment how is it forcing someone is requesting you very earnestly to do something if you want to be a dick and not do it then you know it's dickish uh Mukesh says, "Do you know Miss Marvel is lesbian? Wonderful! That that really uh, warmed my day. Thank you very much for telling me that." Samart says, "Ready for Love and Thunder spoilers tomorrow, Vimo? No, please. I like I'm going to like don't spoil movies for me. I'm going to watch things on uh, online whenever they become available. Like I saw Doctor Strange, uh, Multiverse of Madness recently, two day a week ago, I think." Uh, no one says bimo can you make a video related to how to improve critical thinking and explain the way you dissect a topic by the way you're doing a great job bimo thank you unknown i don't know if i can teach it i'm not very good at teaching i tried running a couple of courses some time ago but i'm not very good at teaching so what i do is that i do the thing publicly and if anyone wants to learn they can watch me actually do the dissecting and learn from it it's like uh, like become eklavya watch someone do archery and learn archery uh mukesh says i don't know how islam will take the character are bhai apne bare mein chinta karo islam ka jo hoga islam dekh lega you are a mukesh and you are worried about how islam will take the character purvesh says going for it on saturday ah okay congratulations charvak says i should ask bhaks how that poster should have looked like for them not to get offended sarvesh says privileged people occupy lot of social spaces virtual or in real life marginalized and oppressed community rarely get space when marginalized speak up it feels cancellation to uh, to prove no real cancel culture to prove what is prove guys please don't use abbreviations i'm really bad at them but yeah your general point i agree with those who have never been questioned those who have freely used casteist language sexist language gender normative language their entire life are now being told that that's not okay and since they are unwilling to change their ways they are saying this is all oppression of me no it is not you are too powerful to be oppressed some people are telling you that they don't like the way you talk you can either listen to them and understand why they are saying it and maybe make some changes in your conduct or you can be you can be a 20 year old who acts like a 60 year old 
<laughs> हमारे जमाने में तो यही सब होता था हम यही करेंगे मुकेश सेज डू यू नो अबाउट बॉयकॉट ऑन सम ब्रांड वेर दे शोड हिंदू लेस्बियन करवा चौथ नो आई डोंट रिमेंबर दिस एक्चुअली आई डू काइंड ऑफ आई रिमेंबर समथिंग लाइक दिस हैपन बट आई डोंट रिमेंबर द डिटेल्स Shridhar says uh, should free speech be used to make jokes on oppressed uh, and still justify it as an attack on free speech no it shouldn't jokes on the oppressed can harm them in real ways i a uh, couple of episodes ago when we had a conversation about caste i read out an article by me called uh, caste and comedy and social responsibility the clip of that video is available on my main channel please go watch it it's a uh, either called caste debate or caste something else there are two videos i don't remember which one but you can go watch it uh, charwag says messi i fully agree with mahua maitra look at tantric texts see what it says yeah ye logo ka problem kya pata hai ye like recently this uh, uh, the threats about beheading that came towards nopur sharma and this uh, fir that has been filed against mahua maitra these people are uncomfortable with their own religion they're not trying to def- uh, they're not trying to defend it they're trying to change it to fit their puritanical values kali was never kali was never the sort of goddess that these people think they she, she was kali is supposed to represent a certain darkness and freedom and if mahua patra says that she's okay with it i agree with her confused ape says i used to think i need to learn how to explain things in a better way but recently after watching you i have realized having honesty in your thought process is a bigger hurdle in producing good content hmm I don't know what that means. Are you saying that I have honesty in my thought process, or are you saying that I watched you? You have no honesty in your thought process, and now I realize that I should. <laughs> Zia says, "What are your thoughts on apps like Twitter and YouTube caving into a country's government's demands requests?" Recently, Twitter suspended the account for Harris Sultan here in Pakistan. Twitter has actually gone to court in India. Twitter is going to court. Uh, to challenge the repeated takedown requests being forwarded by government of india and uh, i think that's a great thing it means that the institution our courts are something that twitter has chosen to rely on which is you know it shows great faith in the indian system i don't know if that faith will be rewarded but they are acting in accordance with the indian system and that's a great thing i can't speak about pakistan मूड क्या है सेज वन वो आजादी वाला स्लोगन जब आया तो हम सोचे कि फवाद को एक्टिविस्ट टाइप दिखाएंगे फिर फवाद वर्सेस ब्रिटिश स्टोरी प्रोग्रेस बट दैट सीन हैड नो रेलिवेंस इन होल एपिसोड रिमूव इट स्टिल एपिसोड सेम या दैट यू कैन से अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू कैन रिमूव दिस थिंग फ्रॉम द एपिसोड द एपिसोड रिमेन्स द सेम द पॉइंट इज दैट मार्वल ट्राइज टू रिमेन रेलिवेंट टू करेंट पॉलिटिक्स द रीजन मुस्लिम रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज अ थिंग इन मार्वल इज बिकॉज मुस्लिम रिप्रेजेंटेशन हैज इंक्रीजिंगली बिकम Uh, important to hollywood in general you will see it in animation you will see it in a lot of places miss marvel is a very timely thing because islamophobia is on the rise so they are trying to do their best to counterbalance and uh, the fawad wala thing you know they showed him raise a few slogans that's okay usme kya charwag says problem is with community when you get offended with painting posters drawings movies comedies music virtually anything that doesn't fit the preconceived idea of religious beliefs yeah so those ideas there are there are layers to that idea right there is there is kali what kali actually is then there is what the bhakt thinks kali is and then there is a representation of kali by a modern artist there are completely different things and the bhakt what the bhakt thinks kali is is different from what actually actually kali is you will find a lot of people thinking that our religious texts are so pure and so futuristic and I mean, the text is actually quite mediocre so it has got more to do with the person who's getting offended and less to do about the thing that they think they are offended about meer jalal says vimo are you saying cancel culture is a myth please read coddling of the american mind by jonathan hate even people from minority communities have been cancelled by woke white liberals in west yeah so that is oppression i'm saying cancel culture has a power structure inherent to it when powerful people oppress minorities that is not cancel culture when minorities raise their voice against powerful people that is not cancel culture because you know that is called canceling but it is useless it doesn't mean anything some people are simply calling for a boycott against you because something you said has uh, made their lives worse if a comedian says that my job is to challenge people 
Okay. So you looked at the entire world and you found that marginalized people, people from, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, people from, uh, how do I put it? LGBTQ backgrounds, people from uh, oppressed minority religions, they are the ones that deserve to be challenged, right? जो मंत्री लोग हैं जो सुबह शाम बकवास करते हैं तुमसे ज्यादा पावरफुल लोग हैं उनको चैलेंज करने का मन नहीं करता तुम लोगों का इंडिया में जो स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी सीन है ना दीज गाइज वॉन्ट अ लॉट ऑफ देम नॉट ऑल ऑफ देम बट अ लॉट ऑफ देम अ लॉट ऑफ देम वॉन्ट टू बी ट्रीटेड एज चैंपियंस ऑफ फ्री स्पीच वेन दे विल नॉट यूज दर फ्री स्पीच अगेंस्ट दोज अगेंस्ट होम देयर स्पीच शुड बी यूज अगेंस्ट दे वॉन्ट टू हैव देयर केक एंड ईट इट टू दे वॉन्ट टू बी कॉल्ड चैंपियंस ऑफ फ्री स्पीच but they want to only have free speech which means basically obscene jokes about people who have whose days and nights are full of this shit who get oppressive uh, uh, behavior from all quarters who get trolled who get abused who get treated like non humans unka maza koda ke inka free speech championship nikal aayega mood kya hai says 2.1947 may do couple what टू अच्छा 1947 में दो कपल परफेक्ट इंग्लिश कैसे बोलते हैं भाई एक एपिसोड अमेरिका सब के साथ देखा लेता तो बाइडेन को बवासीर थोड़ी अरे भैया तुमको इस टाइप का रियलिज्म चाहिए ना तो फ्रेंच आर्ट सिनेमा देखो यू आर वाचिंग एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू वाचिंग अ मार्वल मूवी और अ मार्वल सीरीज इट इज एन इंग्लिश सीरीज यू कैन ऑलवेज क्लिक ऑन द सब बटन एंड वॉच द हिंदी वर्जन ऑफ इट वॉट डिड यू वॉन्ट दम टू डू द शो इज मेड फॉर एन अमेरिकन ऑडियंस और एन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग ऑडियंस and they may speak in english and they actually did quite a lot of hindi in the show which was quite heartening um kaushal sir just watched latest episode of miss marvel it made me tear up but that might also be because i read a lot about the partition in the recent past i was reminded of tamas and a certain episode of a tv serial called sankranti by shyam benegal by the way sankranti the serial is available on youtube for free if you want to watch it S A N K R A N T I Sankranti. It came out in the nineties. I watched it on Doordarshan when I was growing up. It was about uh, social issues and quite beautiful, very well done. It's usually young people in the nineties. Nineties ke young people ab to old ho chuke hain, but young people in the nineties thinking about where this country is going, and then someone bringing it to light and uh, historical events. And the goal was very optimistic. The show was like, you know, sure you think things are bad now, but things have been worse before, and we have we will get out of it. so it gives me a lot of hope to watch sankranti it was designed to give hope to the people of the 90s and i'm not sure if all of it applies right now because our problems are of an entirely different nature but maybe the difference is only of degree and not of kind and maybe we will still get out of it it's a very hopeful show sometimes sometimes it's dark but mostly it's a hopeful show please watch it sankranti by sham benegal doordarshan ka channel pe hai Uh, Dia says that Tanishq Hindu Bahu Muslim Saas ad got cancelled because they said it shows love jihad. They were living happily, celebrating both religions festival. Again, Dia, I would like to remind you that that was not cancellation. That was oppression. A company makes an ad showing religious harmony. The majoritarian bigotry of Hindutva forced it to shut down. That was not cancellation. Cancel culture is the name given to. cancel culture is a name often misused but when people talk about canceling someone they usually talking about less powerful people raising a voice against more powerful people what happened to the tanish card was not cancellation it was a religious harmony sentiment being shut down by majoritarian hindutva force there is a difference when upar se niche aata hai power it's not cancellation it's oppression when niche se upar jata hai it is called cancellation although that is quite mild it, by comparison music from the place as the golden rule of offensive comedy or any art in general always punch up never down exactly punching up is hard for people who are above agar ek cd hai and you are climbing it and you are in the middle and there are people below you and there are people above you and you are told to punch up right and you don't know uh, who you are talking about you don't you won't know whether you are punching up or down unless you are aware of where you are right you can see people on the ladder i'm talking about a more blind situation if you know who you are in a social structure you will know tumhare niche kon hai aur tumhare upar kon hai 
and in that case you can punch up because you know who is above you if you are so clueless about your own privileges if you don't appreciate if you don't acknowledge your caste privilege your religious privilege your social background your wealth etc then you will make jokes about random people and you will not know that you are making fun of oppressed people and there is no dearth of people on youtube and in the online indian online uh, atmosphere who will try to convince you that people less powerful than you are actually oppressing you you are a victim of theirs you are rich you are upper caste you are hindu you are your favorite politician is in power but nahi tum cancel ho rahe ho ye jo garib hai na jinke paas khane ko nahi hai ye jo feminist hai jinke piche din bhar log padhe rehte hain abuse leke they are the real oppressors jab tak tum is prakar ki bakwas mein vishwas karte rahoge na tumhara kuch nahi ho sakta aur tumhari wajah se kisi ka kuch sudhrega nahi you have to become aware of your own privileges of your own position in the social ladder only then are you going to be an effective comedian who brings about change otherwise tum badbadate rahoge tum time pass rahoge aur tumhe koi yaad nahi rakhega aaj se 10 saal baad except maybe people like you uh messi says tmc ne distance bana liya hai mahua moitra se ha wo political party hai unke upar alag pressures hain par dekhte hain kya hota hai garuna says i had a sanghi admit that all this outrage about kali and other stuff is just a response to what happened to nupur they are not actually offended oh okay so ask them to come on public and say that i am not actually offended <laughs> Dhirubhai says Kali is usually depicted with a garland of severed heads but the depiction of Kali smoking a cigarette is a problem so ridiculous yeah mm. R79 says I also find Kamala Harris beautiful I don't know but I have a crush on older women okay I don't I didn't need to know that man Charvag says Muslim phobia is on the rise in the name of criticizing Islam they talk more of hating Muslims as a people just a correction yeah that's true but when I say Islamophobia I generally mean that only I don't give a rats ass about any religion. I don't care if people are afraid of a religion. I care that fear of a religion often translates into hatred of the people who follow that religion. Therefore the w- w- usage of the word islamophobia is okay here I think. <clears throat> Aqua says I also have a crush on older women. Guys please take find a room and talk about this elsewhere. I am not interested in your crushes or anyone's crushes in fact. मूड क्या है सर आउट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स्ट वैसे तो हम कार्लिन लुई सी के बिल बर सारे ऑफेंसिव कॉमेडियंस को काफी सुनते हैं लेकिन इंडिया में कुनाल कामरा के अलावा एक है संजय राजोरा आज भी बिंज वॉच किए काफी सही ओके आई एक्चुअली हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विथ लुई सी के ऑब्वियसली एंड इवन दिस गाय व्हाट्स हिज नेम आई एम फॉरगेटिंग हिज नेम ही मेक्स सम ट्रांसफोबिक जोक्स ही इज कंसिडर्ड अ लिबरल कॉमेडियन बट ही मेक्स ट्रांसफोबिक जोक्स एंड ट्राइज टू पास इट ऑफ एज यू नो चैलेंजिंग पीपल देर इज अनदर कॉमेडियन हु रेस्पॉन्डेड टू हिज सेट एंड दैट वाज क्वाइट ब्रिलियंट एंड आई एम फॉरगेटिंग बोथ ऑफ देयर नेम्स फॉर सम रीजन आई विल ट्राई टू शेयर इट लेटर अम सेंटा वी सेज हे एनी प्लान्स ऑन डूइंग अ कोलैब विद अदर यूट्यूबर्स यस देयर इज अ प्लान एंड दोस आर कमिंग सून सीनियर साइज कैसे लोग हैं काली माता को इसलिए रिस्पेक्ट देते हैं क्योंकि वो काली हैं लेकिन काली क्या है ये काली महिला को दूर से रिजेक्ट कर देते हैं जब तक माता नहीं होगी चलेगा नहीं ना अरुण सेज वी सी रिलीजियस टेक्स इन सच अ ग्लोरिफाइड वे रीडिंग द रीडिंग द स्टोरी ऑफ द लिंगम फ्रॉम शिव पुराण डिस्टर्ब मी ऑन अ वेरी डीप लाइफ चारवाग सेज पीपल बॉयकॉटिंग काली ऑल्सो शोज हाउ पेट्रियाकल माइंड सेट दे हैव would they have get, uh, gotten offended if a man was in the same po- yeah exactly uh, that essay i wrote some time ago where uh, women are not goddesses that i think can be shared again but i don't have the patience to open the page again and also my computer is kind of acting up today so i won't be reading anything but if you want to go on my blog vimo.stck.me you can find an article called women are not goddesses and uh, it explains a lot it's about how we impose this uh, extremely high standard upon women and it seems like respect but it's actually a way of imprisoning them in social expectations so that you say that women are goddesses and then a woman does something like smoke a cigarette and you're like ha huh, clearly she is not acting the way a woman should and then that gives rise to a whole lot of other patriarchal nonsense um Kavish says uh, have you heard of Bo Burnham he's one of the first youtube sensations because he used to sing edgy comedy songs 
at age 17 he later educated himself and speaks how wrong he was yeah i've i've, I've listened to his work and i've uh, heard him speak about it and prem monk says a lot of comedians would not have been cancelled had they punched up and not down cancel culture in a way is how people gain social justice without relying on oppressive institutions yep once upon a time there was a class of really powerful people and they were so rich and so powerful that they had the luxury of isolating themselves completely from other classes of people these days it is not possible because of the internet so we have this term called cancel culture i assure you during the french revolution the french royal family would have been complaining about cancel culture if they could hear what the people were saying i assure you queen victoria would have been complaining about cancel culture had she been listening to what people say on the street about her so cancel culture only exists because right now for the first time in human history the powerful and the privileged have to listen to people who are not as powerful as them if this had been another time they would have easily got away with it ha hum to matlab everybody loves me that sort of thing they could have remained under the illusion that their views were unproblematic because the only other views they would have listened to were the views of people like them people from their social cultural caste religious background they can't do that now the world is too connected and they have to listen to a lot of it and therefore they whine like babies battler says the worst thing about this whole fiasco with tanishka is that employees in tanish stores were literally threatened with violence by goons hence why tata took it back yeah our time says indian high commission in canada is asking for action against the director in canada isn't this interfering in canada by foreign government by own indian government as they called it like in farm laws and caa that i believe is a matter to be resolved by the respective governments i would don't want to comment on it this surup says first time i'm seeing somebody calling out the reality of so called cancel culture i always thought cancel culture is a tool of the have nots against the haves yeah they are it is cancel culture is a name given to justified social outrage from people from marginalized background that's all i've said this so many times in this episode that i don't want to repeat it charvag says there are people called trads in social media who are full of hatred for sc st obcs and also hate uh, ambedkar's thinking they want manusmriti as constitution yeah and there are there is a milder variety of these also they are not called trads i think they are called something else but yeah those guys will pretend that they are pro constitution when they are actually not notanki hai sab kuch notanki hai human is a social animal kahan gaye bhai human is a social animal says hello sudipto says i'm late today it's okay sudipto it's not a classroom uh, okay uh, milan sonone thank you for the 100 rupees super sticker much appreciated sir as always also thank you for being a member uh, santa v says what do you think about the new rule in comedy that you can make jokes about disability only if you are were disabled no it's not a rule i think it is justified because there is something called lived experience there it is possible for someone who has not had lived experience to make a comment about a condition but that comment has to be done has to be made with extreme sensitivity and with the clear understanding of the dynamics of the situation because you don't want to make fun of someone's disability it is possible to weave a joke around the idea of disability and that is what i'm talking about because a lot of people who make jokes about things and then say mujhe adhikar hai kisi bhi cheez pe joke marne ka ha bhaiya tumko adhikar hai but kya tumko wo sab cheeze karni chahiye jo karne ka tumko adhikar hai do you have to do you have to make fun of who, someone who is suffering someone who is being abused every day because of their identity no you don't you can do away with it it's a you are being asked to use some responsibility now if your response to that is no i don't want to be responsible i want to be a whiny baby then please by all means go away but then don't complain when people don't come to your shows or when people say that you're toxic because you are om says jk really got cancelled ha huh? jk kon hai and it was much necessary trans people are getting oppressed and such a uh, comment by famous writer is not good at all who is jk jk rowling yeah yeah jk rowling true agree charvak says i was reading books by wendy donager i didn't find anything bad that was talked about yet people keep calling her brainwashed hindu hater blah blah half the people who call other people brainwashed are brainwashed themselves i used to be one of them so i know 
Sudeep to says Santa V as a disabled person just get your stuff through a sensitivity reader no yeah there are people who are called sensitivity readers if you are writing something about a community whose lived experience you do not have you can always put your re- uh, work through a sensitivity reader a huge part of the problem with the indian ca- stand up comedy scene where upper caste comedians make jokes about you know uh, sc st obc people and uh, make jokes about reservation specifically because that's a favorite topic apparently is that they don't talk to people who will tell them otherwise unka jo pura peer review circle hai it does not contain members of people from communities about which the jokes are upper caste people writing jokes about uh, so called lower caste people for upper caste people these jokes are not meant for everyone they're meant for people like them and i wrote about wrote about this in that article which i read last week uh, if you go to my blog you can find it it's called just search on google called uh, caste comedy and social responsibility and then add vimo at the end of it you'll find it ricky says ricky mood uh, mood kya says ricky J- yes ricky jave says the one i was talking about wo ek baat bola ek bar ki tum 2999 god mein nahi mante aur main 3000 out of 3000 yahi difference hai atheist aur religious logo mein us samay sara special dekh liya uska yeah he is an atheist and uh, he makes jokes about religion however he is also makes transphobic jokes and for that reason i will not consider him someone worth emulating manish thakur says uh, hello hi manish dia says manu was the worst person hold on hold on um kavan says i feel like the reason many people butt into the cancel culture narrative is because buy into the cancel culture narrative is because the ones in power paint the ones who are actually being oppressed as being privileged and former as oppressed ones yeah everyone wants to pretend to be a victim regardless of how much power and privilege they have that is the problem anjali has said something horrible she has said vimo is amazing please don't do that i'm kidding please continue saying it senior says t e a d wale bhakt extreme level ke trad wale bhakt extreme level ke bhakt hain क्योंकि बो मोदी जी को भी मुला मोदी बोलते कंफ्यूज हाउ टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन लिव्ड एक्सपीरियंस एंड एनेक्डोटल एविडेंस यू रन इट बाय समन हु हैज हैड लिव्ड एक्सपीरियंस अ लॉट ऑफ सी आई टेल यू समथिंग देयर इज यू यू हैव सीन मूवीज विद मुस्लिम कैरेक्टर्स बट हैव यू एवर टॉक टू अ मुस्लिम पर्सन अबाउट हे डज दैट एक्चुअली रिप्रेजेंट योर लाइफ you will find that they they actually don't there was this muslim person on instagram who wrote a post and i found it quite funny and also tragic but mostly funny because he said if you watch bollywood movies with muslims muslim characters you will fall into the uh, illusion that we talk to our parents as ammi jaan and abba jaan and uh, you know takhalluf and uh, words like that but in reality our life is mummy says chintu ja tinde leke aa so our life our family life is exactly like everyone else's but there is a certain media representation lens that happens whereby their lives get portrayed as something exotic so you might think that you know how to write a muslim character but you don't if your impressions of what a muslim character should look like in a story only comes from other stories then you don't you should run your interpretation by someone who's actually a muslim person and then maybe you will have a different understanding of the matter charvak lokayat says richard dawkins doesn't support lgbtq plus do you think he this is conservative influence for richard dawkins went down the drain a long time ago richard dawkins sam harris are no longer people i look up to my transition into atheism was somewhat powered by them but the person who did most to change my mind was matt dillahunty and i recommend that you watch his stuff and uh, matt delanty once uh, came on the atheist experience show dressed uh, he, he came on the show as in drag he dressed in women's clothes and he said clothes are just you know a human invention who decides that a skirt is something a woman should wear and pants are what a man wears so he came dressed that way he's like solid <laughs> he's he's someone who again you may not agree with everything he also says but on this matter he is way ahead uh, as far well, than than Harris or Dawkins kaha gaya kavish says i saw an episode on john oliver with monica levinsky and they highlighted some innocent regular people who were targeted by cancel culture uh, 
कैंसिल कल्चर मे नॉट अफेक्ट बिग बिग डील्स बट कैन अफेक्ट कॉमन्स अगेन दैट इज नॉट कैंसिल कल्चर we lose a great opportunity at understanding social issues when we take a phrase like cancel culture and apply it to anyone disagreeing with anyone cancel culture is specifically when powerful people are being outraged against by people with less power monica levinsky uh, and john oliver i don't know cancel culture uh, i don't know which examples you are talking about but if innocent regular people are getting cancelled because of something that's oppression that's not cancel culture battle says on topic of wendy donager rajiv malhotra's book let you to become a right winger how do you see rajiv malhotra now that you no longer agree with her with right wing i see him as a wind bag who's desperately trying to remain relevant his ideas are outdated his uh, positions on matters are hypocritical but for example he talks about something like uh, uh, difference anxiety he wrote about it in a few books where he says that certain religious people are of the view Uh, certain religious people get anxious when they see people who are not like them i have never seen him outrage against what is happening in the name of hindutva in india right now because that's exactly the same thing difference anxiety hindus looking at muslims say ye log humse bahut alag hain inko hamare jaisa banna padega nahi to humko hum inko yahan rehne nahi denge he has never spoken about this he presents an idea which sounds like a sane idea but he applies it selectively and that is the problem and also he's a casteist so watch his videos with uh, nityananda and uh, watch his videos with uh, watch his interview with uh, vivek agnihotri and also watch his interview with a neuroscientist by the name of uh, again i'm forgetting his name the guy who wrote phantoms in the brain am prem says dia make uh, more like a pawn of the upper ca- upper class folks who helped them create a system of social apartheid i'm pretty sure there were even worse people back then as there are now I don't know what that was in relation with. Um, Charvak says, "Upper caste feminists in India never support when oppression happens on lower caste women. That is the tragedy of Savarna feminism." Yeah, this has been written about fairly, uh, fairly regularly in the recent times, and I think this is a valid point. How caste informs, like there is a certain amount of intersectionality, and how caste informs a lot of decisions by upper caste feminists. Lucas says the comedian who replied to the transphobic Dave Chappelle set was James A Caster. Yes, brilliant retort. Recommend watching. Yes, James A Caster is the one I was talking about. Search for James A Caster response to Ricky Gervais on YouTube and watch it. Adil says in Family Guy there are episodes making fun of Jesus, a lot of dark jokes. If it was in India, I don't know what these bugs would do. Yeah, it would not be in India. These bugs would go to America, enjoy the life there, and not say anything. in india they want to do all this shakya says hi vimo why do many indian stand up comedians choose to punch down rather than punching up like how it is supposed to be because they don't know their own position imagine a room where there is no gravity and also it's full of smoke and you can't see and there are a lot of people floating around and you have to punch up now because there is no gravity you don't know which way is up and down so you are punching people and you are ending up punching people who are actually below you because you are upside down that is what is happening to these people in order to understand what is punching up and what is punching down they need to understand where they are in the social ladder this is a better example than the ladder one i gave because ladder mein gravity hoti hai niche upar hota hai but hamare comedians ka problem hai they are unaware of their own social privilege and position they don't want to talk about caste they don't want to talk about religion they don't want to talk about uh, netas but they want to exercise free speech and what is the safest way to exercise free speech use it against people who can't defend themselves that's all our stand up comedy culture spawned in metropolitan cities among city boys and girls and that is the problem these guys don't understand most of india these guys don't understand how privileged they are so they end up always playing it safe and punching down punching up is difficult punching up is hard punching up is going to cause them troubles in life that's why they don't do it i mean that's not entirely fair because many of them do make fun of politicians but uh, as far as social issues is concerned they don't often punch up they don't often punch up yes uh kahan gaya uh we are at 50 minutes we have 10 more minutes um 
Sudipta says, oh, but also even if you use a sensitivity reader, I think it's kind of better to what they call pass the mic. Yeah. Also, don't cut the cord once disadvantaged people have the mic. <laughs> but, you know, sensitivity reader can perhaps help you with stand-up comedy. But when you're writing science fiction, that would be, you can't pass on the mic because you're a writer. Uh, there is a science fiction writer called Mimi Mondal who comes from a Dalit background and she used to be a sensitivity reader for quite some time. I'm not sure if she's still doing it, but uh, yeah, she used to do it. Confused Ape says, it might be my tier four location, but my Muslim friends talk exactly like that to their parents. <laughs> uh, Dark Knight says, I think people on the right will use the DEP versus HERD to push back on laws against domestic violence and other safeguards for women. Even in India, I see great pushback on laws safeguarding. Yeah, this has been happening for quite some time. And I think the only solution to this is to completely push back all the time. Like, a, there's a log of wood that you want to push to the other side of the road. But it's very heavy. Uh, sorry, the log of wood has to be pushed to the middle of the road. But it's very heavy. So you have to push as if you intend to push it all the way across. Only in that case will it reach halfway. You will not succeed in pushing it halfway if your intention is to push it halfway. So whenever this shit comes up, we have to vocally speak up against it, no matter what the setting, even inside our families. We need to talk about it. We need to oppose it. We need to make it very clear that these laws are dangerous, toxic, and will not end up being a good influence on anything. Mm -hmm. says, sir, Kangana ki movies flop ho ja rahi hai. Is that related to cancel culture? I think so. But it's not cancel culture because she is an actor. I will repeat for the 43rd time. She is not being cancelled. She is facing consequences for bad things that she's done. If people, I don't know if people are not choosing to, if people are choosing to not watch her movies because they don't like her, although I do think that is the case. Because a thing that happens with artists that does not happen to politicians is that, like, see, politicians ko koi like nahi karta. Nobody likes politicians actually. Uh, but actors, people genuinely like. People think they're real. People think they're genuinely the way they pretend to be. So when an actor's public image takes a dive, it is difficult for audiences to relate to them on a human level. And that actually affects the success of their movies. So maybe that is the reason. I don't know. Uh, Charvak says, can you please have another session with Shahbaz Ansar? Sure. I don't know what we will talk about, but I will, uh, I will, I'll make a list of people that I want to have back. Kaushal says, Vimo sending people to watch Rajiv Malhotra's videos. Ghor Kalyu. No, no, please. I'm not sending people to watch his videos. Yashvi says, hey, have you watched trailer of Ek Villain Returns? Is in that Desha Patni and Tara Sothi are going to be a couple. Ekta Kapoor always does for LGBTQ community. If you know about Married Women web series. Okay. I had no idea about any of this. I have not seen much by Ekta Kapoor, nor this web series, nor about this upcoming movie. I know who Desha Patni is. I know who Tara Sutaria is, but that's all I know. I had no idea. Thank you. V.S. Ramachandran. Yes, Phantoms of the Brain. Yes, that was the author I was talking about. Thank you. Music from the place. Abhishek says, Matt Delante is my favorite too. I have become an agnostic atheist from a Christian listening to him. Do you disagree with him on any of his views? I don't disagree with him on any of the views, but I know that he has a disagreement with a cosmic skeptic about veganism. And that is a matter about which I am still trying to make up my mind. So I'm kind of floating in the air. I don't disagree with him on that, but I am not entirely convinced that he is right. And I'm leaning towards cosmic skeptic a little bit. Dhruv Singh says, love you, bro. Thanks, Dhruv. Love you also, I think. I don't know who you are, but if you love me, I, I think it is fair that I return the favor. I can't say, let's just be friends. Or actually, I can. Yeah, let's just be friends. Battler says, Charwak, Rajiv is the most intellectual defender of right-wing views. I could never understand his hatred of Devdar Patnaik. Thankfully, my admiration of Devdar Patnaik saved me from him. Okay. So, I guess you have not seen my episode on Devdar Patnaik. Go to my main channel and search for Devdat. Mood kya hai says, Vivek Agnotri ka naam kyun liya yaar? Mood kharaab ho gaya. Saw karod kama liya. Pura desh ko mood bana diya. Santa V says, the comedians justify their jokes saying, if people stop laughing, they will stop writing transphobic jokes. No, that's not the answer. People will laugh at a lot of things. Are you going to make jokes about children dying from cancer? Because that might make some people laugh. 
this is a horse shit argument i only do what makes people laugh no you don't you don't crack jokes at a funeral right because it's insensitive you don't crack jokes about women being dumb or women not being able to drive because those are nonsense jokes those jokes will make some people laugh but you don't make them you make jokes about trans people because you think it's not important to worry about their sentiments it's not important to take into consideration according to you it is not important to take into consideration the fact that they are routinely abused dehumanized and treated like non humans that is why you do this you don't do this because you want to make people laugh if that was your only goal you would be making plenty of other kinds of jokes by the way just a point of interest making jokes about the prime minister of india may also make people laugh go ahead do it you want because you're worried about yourself nonsense arguments kaha gaya kaha gaya ye scroll apne aap kyon ho jata hai be battler says uh, rajiv balhotra i would like to decline reading his views i am not interested in indian right winger any longer or indian political dog fights more power to you man don't i would advise like i was saying if anyone is not aware of his views they can but if you don't want to please don't music says also punching down is easy and convenient whereas punching up is difficult and actually requires courage exactly saste mein nipta rahe low hanging fruits ke liye ja rahe hain log senior says yahi point film stars aur players ke upar bhi apply hota hai wo kabhi bhi bharat ke social issues par baat nahi karte kya yeah. right let me skip a few comments because we are at the 57 minute mark the live stream will end shortly after the 1 hour mark anil kapoor says people keep repeating the statement that kangana is a great actor but her views are toxic while in reality she is not even a good actor she is a mediocre actor who does the same kind of roles i think she is a good actor like if i removed my disgust for her political views from the equation i think she is a good actor there are worse actors like i have members of my family who used to be huge fans of her but now they can't stand her face because of her public utterances so she has effectively shot herself in the foot she doesn't realize that an actor has to be admirable to the people who are watching their shows and the people who she thought she had the admiration of even they can't stand her i think maybe that's why her movies are doing badly i don't have data to support this this is just a, just a hunch um kavish says indian stand ups are becoming micro celebs gaining a high mindset it is on us not just to show them finger but encourage more diversity i like many new women comics actually hmm mm. dhirubhai says man ricky jervis is one of my favorite comedians but his last two specials on netflix just didn't land for me maybe he had good ideas for what could count as comedy but they just didn't work okay i haven't even seen those i saw the Uh, i i started watching one i got to the trans jokes part and i could not stand up uh battler says i know your views on dp devdut patnaik but still have a huge regard for him as he has enabled me to see through right wing dogma his own biases aside i find how a fantastic per- i found him a fantastic person i would rather his hinduism than others i i actually recommend his books to people i think if you are going to be exposed to devdut patnaik read his books don't read his tweets don't read his youtube videos or his interviews because then you will just get turned off i do think he does fantastic work he has done fantastic work he brings a view of mythology that is sorely lacking in the modern indian uh, discourse and his book should be re- read by people even if you disagree with him on certain points but uh, yeah my views are kind of the same uh मोर क्या ऐसा कंगना का धाकड़ इसलिए फ्लॉप नहीं हुआ कि लोग उसको पसंद नहीं करते बल्कि इसलिए कि इंडियन दर्शक फीमेल को एक्शन करते हुए डाइजेस्ट नहीं कर पाते पटरिया ची ऑफ आई डोंट नो व्हाट दैट मींस बट नो दैट इज नॉट ट्रू अभी कुछ टाइम पहले देर वॉज दिस एक्शन मूवी स्टारिंग रानी मुखर्जी विच डेड एक्सट्रीमली वेल आई थिंक एंड देन देर वॉज देर वर सम अदर देर वॉज वन विद विद्या बालकृष्णन सेट इन बेंगाल वट वॉज कहानी या दैट वॉज kind of action thriller suspense and uh, there was uh, the movie from whose song the word dhakad was taken what was it called where amir khan teaches his daughters to be wrestlers that was also the same it did very well um right 
Ira says America Chavez is also lesbian and Captain Marvel is bi. Valkyrie from Thor is lesbian. Lady Thor is bi. Fastos Eternal is gay. Marvel is do- yeah, I love this. Eternals left a little bit to be desired in terms of storytelling, but I loved how diverse it was. I really loved how diverse it was. Harshit Ranjan says, "What is your age?" Harshit, I am thirty nine years old. Coming January, I will be forty. Dark Knight says on LGBTQ watch Swati Sajdev's Love Is Love. I found it really funny and sensitive. Yeah, some people have recommended it, but I have not gotten around to it. But uh, I will. And with that, I am afraid we have reached the one hour mark. And before I end today's episode, I would like to go through my usual thing, where I tell people that this is a live stream that happens from Monday to Friday at 10 pm in the night. and uh, we talk about indian contemporary culture not ancient indian culture because everyone is talking about ancient culture someone has to talk about what is happening to our culture today and that is what i try to do on the show this show is available on pod uh, as a podcast also which you can listen to by visiting vimo.in www.vimo.in that is the podcast website all the episodes are available there uh, you can also find links to all the audio apps where the podcast is available you can simply search vimo live on any audio app and you will find it just click subscribe give it a rating a review if you like uh, in addition if you want to support my work there is a join button below this uh, video which you can click and become a member of this show and if you do that you will get special emojis which you can use in the chat you may have seen some members using them a the demon face one and the laughter emoji using my face So those become available to you and also your comments get read first or at least i try to sometimes i can't get to them in time but if you are a member your comment will definitely get read that much i can promise if you want to support me on patreon you can do so at patreon.com/vimo where you can either make a monthly pledge or an annual pledge if you don't want to make a pledge you can simply make a one time donation at vimo.stackme vimo.stck.me there there is no monthly annual scheme you can just make a one time donation of an amount of your choice my main youtube channel is at youtube.com/vimo where i post videos today i posted a video about uh, our changing media consumption habits maybe you can go there and watch it thoda watch time mil jayega but yeah that is about it uh, uh, as always have a nice day i will see you tomorrow at uh, 10 pm on this channel and if you are listening on the podcast bye bye whenever you listen to the next episode i will you will hear me again bye bye